Hello, for this video I'm going to be walking you through how to create an enclosure using the housing script in the front panel designer. Located in the top toolbar of the front panel designer we have the housing script. This allows for you to easily create enclosures to meet your needs. First just go up to the top toolbar and click on the housing script icon. This will open up the option to either select a side profile enclosure or a housing profile enclosure. For this we'll choose housing profile enclosure and click OK. Now you can enter in the criteria for your housing profile enclosure. First you'll want to select the type of profile that you will be using for this enclosure. You can choose either housing profile 1, housing profile 2, or a combination of housing profile 1 and 2. For this example, I will choose Housing Profile 1 and 2 combo. If you would like more information on our housing profile types, you can go to this location on our website and it will take you to the enclosure manual. Now that you have the enclosure type selected, you can enter in the height, width, and depth of your enclosure. If you are wanting to create a rack unit, then you can select either a 1U, 2U, or 3U rack unit. This will override the width and height of your enclosure to ensure that you get the correct size needed. Now you can choose the thickness of your panels. For this we recommend a 2.5 millimeter or greater thickness. This is just to ensure that your counter sinks mill properly. Now you can select the color of your panels from our various colors. If you would like to select a kit to order screws and profiles, then you can select your color here, either natural or black, or no kit. If you do choose to select a kit, then the profiles and screws will be automatically added to your online shopping cart once you hit create. And lastly, there are four checkboxes at the bottom. One, if you want housing brackets on your enclosure, you can add those here by checking the box. Two, add guide engravings. This is automatically selected and it just adds do not produce engravings to your panels so that you can more easily see how the enclosure will fit together. Three, avoid front panel drill holes and use studs instead. This adds studs to the front panel of your enclosure instead of countersink holes in cases where your enclosure is 170 millimeters wide or more and you have housing brackets selected. So it just makes it so the front panel of your enclosure has less holes in it. Purely aesthetic. And four, test run. This only creates the front panel for the enclosure instead of all of the panels for the enclosure. Once you have everything selected, you can now click on create. And the panels for your enclosure will be uploaded onto your screen. If you opted for the screws and profiles kit, then your online shopping cart will also pop up at this time and the screws and profiles will be added to your cart automatically. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out. Here is our contact information. Have a good day.